Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Cliff with Pink Flamingo Power Wash. I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. Today, we're gonna be working in Citrus Park, Florida. We're gonna be doing a uh, driveway cleaning here, three car garage, driveway, sidewalk, walkway, and um, a back lanai. Uh, we have four jobs on the schedule today. Um, a lot of work, guys, and uh, with daylight savings, you know, you guys know we gotta bust, bust, bust our butts to get out of here in a decent time before it gets dark. Uh, right now, it is about 8 o'clock in the morning. We're gonna get started. I got Big E. Big E, with, look at the fresh boots, man. We both got fresh boots on today. My man got the all whites on. Yeah, so this is the driveway here. You guys can see it's pretty bad, rough shape. We're gonna go ahead and hit this mailbox, get the sidewalks done, and um, the walkway up here is pretty bad. Clean all that up. And then we got a little nine in the back, which is not, um, it's not too big. And it's not too dirty either, so let me show you guys. So this is the back right here. Like I said, it's not bad at all, but we got some dirt build up right here in the corners where the water settles. No surface cleaning on this. Uh, we're just gonna do a soft wash with the wand and get that cleaned up. The cage is in horrible shape. As you guys can see, there's algae all on the beams, but the customer is not trying to do that right now. So we'll just rinse off the patio. We'll do the patio first, work from the back, move to the front. Guys, we are up front now. Eli is um, applying the soap on the driveway, getting that pre-treated for me. And then we're gonna go ahead and surface clean this baby up, make her look good. May have to post street, as you guys can see how bad this is. Um, we wanted to, we wanted to pop, so we're gonna probably post street this here.
right, you guys, I got half of the driveway done. I'm letting Eli do the other half. So he don't want to sit around and watch me work. <laughs> uh, up here is already clean. And like I said, over here is already cleaned up, rinse. Got the dry uh, sidewalk, full streeted as well. I full streeted the part that I cleaned too. Just to make everything look spectacular. So Eli is getting the spin on the surface cleaner right now. Started about 8 o'clock. Uh, 9.25 right now. Should be out of here in the next uh, 15 minutes or so. Right, guys we're wrapping up the first project here sidewalks clean driveways clean post treated so if you see any lines a little bit they will go away no big deal over here is already dry so you can see what it's gonna look like when it's done Eli is rinsing out the front of the driveway they want the customers to dry track dirt and mud on the driveway so we're gonna push that all the way down over here is good to go and um, I'm gonna show you guys the back This is the pool deck here. I can't walk in because I'm gonna track dirt all over. What you guys can see here, it's all clean. Most of the dirt was really in the corner where the water settles. And you guys can see that's all clean over here. They need the cage done. You see algae all over it, but customers say this cage looks fine. So who am I to say anything? All right, guys, what time is it right now? 9.49 right now, ahead of schedule. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and go to a second job, which is not too far from here, like 10 minutes. So see y'all when I get there. All right, you guys, we're at the second job for the day. Right now we're in uh, Carewood. We're gonna be doing a pool deck in the pool cage for a returning customer. I was here maybe a few months ago. I did the gutters, the driveway, and uh, some of the paver stones right here in the backyard for her. I also do the neighbor next door uh, right there. I do the gutters too in the driveway. So we're gonna be doing the pool deck, pool cage here. Let's check it out. So this is the pool deck here. You can see it's pretty dirty. You can take that stuff and just put it on top of uh, this stuff here. You guys can see it's pretty bad, rough shape. Got some weeds going through. Pool cages. Got some algae on it. Got some shade over the top so you can't really see. But um, let me get here so you can see all that algae build up. Some heavy, heavy algae, but look at that. Nobody want to walk on that. Blow off the top from for those leaves, even though they'll come back. <laughs> but when we leave, you know, we'll take a picture, make sure everything looks good for the customer. 
All right, guys, we're gonna get started. We're just gonna downstream our SH because that's all we need, really. And then um, we're gonna surface clean this deck. We can't just warn this one because it's pavers. All right, stay tuned. tripod broke one of the legs broke uh, that's what happens every no once in a while but we already got this downstream all the way out and inside we're gonna do a little test here everything's just coming off light butter we're gonna go ahead and uh start rinsing the outside let the inside dwell because of that like, all the algae on the uh pavers i think we should be good to rinse we started applying sh about 14 minutes ago so give or take that's plenty of dwell time. Let's, let's look at inside. So, the inside is already coming off nice and easy and clean. Over here, uh, where well, I showed y'all all the algae, it's already gone right there. All I gotta do is rinse it off. Get this deck looking good. So we'll, we'll, we'll rinse outside first and then rinse in here when we come back.
right, guys, I'm done cleaning the pool deck, putting the pool treatment on here. I couldn't save that pool. Uh, I had to let the customer know the pool drainage is horrible. Like the water drains, all the water drains towards the pool. I can't work and fight water at the same time. If the foundation is built a certain way, that's just the way it's built. I can't, I can't divide, <laughs> defy physics, man. I'm sorry. So, and I just let her know. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they already know. Most of the time, these customers already know what happens. When it rains, the same thing happens. All that rain water collects and falls right into that pool. Like, I'm gonna show you guys. So, this is the drain here. Look at the water. The water is running right through here, falling right into the pool. The water is supposed to go out there, but it's not. It's sink. This part is sunk so bad that all the water is rushing back this way. So, sorry. But as far as everything else goes, uh, we got the cage already cleaned, nice and clean. No more algae on that. Like I said, I'm doing a porch treatment on here. Even right here, the water collects right there and falls right back this way. Look, you can see it. It sits right here, falls right back into the pool. The whole thing is a and the whole thing is a nightmare for drainage. The whole thing. Uh, the, the pressure hose? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and turn the pressure washer off first. Okay. Unhook it and then um, put it on, put it up. So, you see here, the leaves just falling right now. All over the place. Look at all these leaves falling. I just cleaned the top of the cage. <laughs> All right, so this is it for back here. Uh, we're all wrapped up. You guys can see the difference on the pavers. Some of these pavers, they look old. They all marked up, but try to get it best as possible with the, with the porch treatment. Up here was really bad. So I tell the customer just to run her filter run the pool filter you know what i'm saying get that dirty water out of there no big deal it's not gonna take too much so we all finished back here eli is gonna wrap up the hoses and then we'll be heading to the third job all right you guys stay tuned all right you guys right now we at our third stop for the day um we were right down the street from carewood we're only like five minutes away back into Tampa um, this call came in late last night I'm squeezing the man because I was supposed to have three jobs today but I'm gonna squeeze a man for today so uh, this customer here just got the pool deck done they just got some construction dust and you know all around the place they want to get cleaned off so let's show you guys what it looks like so I don't even know if you guys are gonna be able to see it on camera all these screens got some dust on it so we're gonna clean all these screens here and uh, you guys probably can see some drips right here we're gonna clean all that all the way down and then we got one strip of gutters we're gonna be cleaning over here on this side you can see it's pretty dingy so that will get done pretty quick in and out job that way I'll be able to pay Eli <laughs>
is the coolest entrance up. Hello. That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. It smells nice. Thank you. <laughs> all right, we got the cage blown off. I used a little bit of SH on it. Um, I, just, I went ahead and hit the frame as well. They didn't, they didn't need that. They just wanted the screens washed off, but I did that anyway. So this is what we got, guys. Good to go. Fourth job coming up. We're gonna go ahead and grab some lunch and then we'll make it to the fourth one, guys. See y'all when I get there. All right, y'all, we got the fourth one for the day. Final job. Right now we're in Brandon, Florida. We're gonna be doing a fence for a customer here. Uh, she was actually a referral from another company. Uh, the guy is not pressure washing anymore, so they give him my number so I can take care of him. So it's a white vinyl fence we're gonna be doing and um, we're gonna do one shed in the back. Let me show you guys. So this is the gate here. The outside is not that bad. She's on the corner lot, so it goes down to that uh, pool right there. Um, on it, on these parts right here, it's pretty bad. But the face of the fence is not that that dirty when you're looking at it from the street. See all this build up stuff. We got our uh, five percent. And uh, soft in the soft wash hose. So before we flush it, we'll use that to get the heavy stuff off. Let me show you guys the inside. It's uh, open this gate, please. Put it up. All right. The inside is pretty bad. A lot of green everywhere. Pretty heavy on this side here as well as the back area. See all that right there. This thing is full of algae. She also wants us to clean the front of this shed, a little tiny shed. Gotta watch out for the landmines. <laughs> you got this little shed right here. They got algae in the front. We'll go ahead and soft wash that. So we're gonna downstream the SH. Uh, she wants us to start right here at this shed, all the way around on the inside to the front. And then on the outside, we'll do the outside on this side here. The rest is fine, so. We'll downstream the fence first, then we'll follow up with uh, the heavy mix on the spots that don't come off. All right, let's go. This is a little dwell time. Right now it's 1.30 We probably started, what, 10 minutes ago? So we're probably gonna give it another few minutes. Let's see over here how this 
off. Sometimes this stuff needs a uh, stronger mix to come off, but as you guys can see, it's coming off easy. I can get it off with my fingers, so we don't need to rush it. But I know the inside, we're probably gonna need that uh, software system uh, to get a few spots. We gotta rinse it off anyway, so. So I'm gonna put it on rinse and just use whatever's in the hose to spot treat. If there's anything left, um, once I get done rinsing the whole fence. Guys, home run stretch. Eli is rinsing the outside of the fence. Like I was showing you guys, the bottom right here was pretty dirty. Got a few little spots we may have to touch up, but for the most part, I would say 95% of it has come off the, um, the fence. you guys we're all finished with the project here to go to the fence she's looking pretty good hey, Eli throw me a rag that's right right there one of the rags we got a little bit of dirt kicked up right here thank you they want to leave that right there for the customer because then they're gonna be like oh you missed the spot <laughs> but yeah you guys can see what we're looking like some of the dirt kicked up when we was rinsing the other side. Exactly what happened. We already got everything put up, so definitely don't wanna have to pull everything back out. But you guys can see back here was pretty bad. This is the front of this thing here. Went ahead and cleaned up bottom right here this little pad got that fence wash on this side all that filthiness that was back there had to clean between the plants so like i said guys this was a leave from somebody that was in business um and then whoever they were that was this was their first customer <laughs> so they called him to do it this year. They, they were like, oh, we're not doing it anymore. So the guy referred him to me. So I'm not, I'm not even sure who it is, but I appreciate the lead. Um, I would have done the walk around with the customer. So he loves the job and the payment is already made. So we're gonna go grab us some pizza. We're going to a pizza buffet. I'm gonna turn him down, guys. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope y'all had a good time. Big E, 
blessed us with his presence. Yes, sir, man. Yes, sir. So we're back. We're going to be working probably every weekend for Christmas break. So y'all stay tuned. Enjoy the video. Make sure you smash the like button. And we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.